All right, little man, you download the app I told you about? I did, but I'm so anxious, I'm sweating through my Dolly Parton long johns. Oh, is that that neighborhood app? Oh, that stresses me out, too. Is it a million raccoons, or are we all seeing the same raccoon? No, I'm helping Phil put all his bills on auto pay. This is going digital. All right, Phil, you press here, you'll see all your charges from last month. Damn, Phil, $3,500 on hearing aids? Can't you just be like old fashioned and hold up a funnel to your ear? Well, I didn't buy them for me, I bought them for Henry. Who's Henry? He's a gentleman I met on Silver Shepherds. It's a dating app for gay Christian seniors. Aw, good for you, Phil. It warms my heart to know you're out there rustling off some hot shepherd tail. Well, we haven't actually met in person. We just chat on the phone. Oh, so just a little phone sex? You better walk that dirty mind back. <laughs> Maybe a little. Phil. You do not give thousands of dollars to a guy you've only talked to on the phone. You could be getting catfished. Well, that can't be bad. That's my favorite fish. No, man. Catfish is when a con artist pretends to be somebody else to take advantage of a nice, innocent person like you. Carter's right. He might have sold those hearing aids for cash. Henry wouldn't do that. See? That's what I'm saying. Henry might not be Henry. He could be a 25-year-old gamer living in his mama's basement. Oh, it's a shame to lose you hearing that young. <laughs> Well, speaking of looking out for you, your boyfriend Henry texted while I had your phone. Now, don't freak out, but I took the liberty of texting him back and asking him to meet you here tonight. You did what? Look, I know, but I can't just let you keep handing out money to a guy you don't know exists. This way, if a little old guy with a couple of hearing aids shows up, I'll text you, you come by and say hi. But I'm not ready to say hi. Then I'll say you went to a funeral or something. <laughs> but if nobody shows up, I'm calling the cops, we gonna find that catfish, get your money back, and throw his ass in jail. Okay. Can you believe that Carter used my phone to contact Henry like that? It's my phone. Yes, that was pretty ballsy, but I'm gonna have to take Carter's side on this one. That was a lot of money that you gave a stranger, and this online dating stuff is a cesspool of deceit. I know. I'm the biggest turd in the pool. <laughs> I gotta come clean. Randy, I told Henry that I'm six foot two and used to model for Dillard's. Wait, so that will make you the catfisher? Yes, but I can't tell Carter because he thinks catfishers should be in jail. But you're a weird kind of catfisher. You're giving money away. That's like breaking into someone's house and leaving a TV. I feel terrible. Sweet Henry's gonna show up hoping to meet me, and I didn't even use my real picture. Well, whose picture did you use? Hello. <laughs> well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Uh -huh.